Today, we're gonna go over some more information that was just released by John Deaton about William Henman and the payments he received from his former employer, the law firm Th Th Thatcher Simpson. We're gonna go over some of those uh, bank statements that he received money, and of course, he said he retired prior to going to the SEC. So uh, we're gonna go over those as well as a couple other NFT projects, one from Doja Cat, and we're gonna give you an update on Bill Murray. I know we went over Bill Murray's story yesterday, heartfelt Bill Murray story on NFTs. Bill, beer with Bill Murray, well, it looks like some of the beer spilt. And we're gonna go over that, that uh, particular article. Welcome everyone to OG Crypto and NFTs. My name is Troy and day through Saturday, we go over the latest news in digital assets as well as NFTs. I know when we have NFTs on, we bring our producer Emmy on. She is so pumped today. And I am going to allow her, actually, I'm not gonna allow her. I'm gonna hand the microphone over to her and let her do the opinion piece. She is so excited about tomorrow. Uh, opinion piece and she is opinionated okay well she'll go over that but before we jump into all that hit that like button and then of course hit the subscribe button we definitely want to grow this channel it is going to be it's exciting to get all the latest news for five or ten minutes on a daily basis let's go ahead and jump into this so this was this uh video was put out by i don't know who actually produced it but i know that william deaton excuse me william deaton john deaton uh, of crypto law, he de he represents 72, 73, 74,000 XRP holders in the Ripple versus the SEC case. So he is he's definitely one of the good guys. And one of the, the gentlemen, a uh, former SEC finance director was William Henman. He made a speech back in 2018 declaring that Bitcoin and Ethereum was a commodity and not a security. Well, the, you know, rumors has it that you know, there's about 60 or 70 emails that are floating around that he had asked people about what he wanted to say in that speech and that there, the rumor is that XRP or let's say Ripple was in there saying it wasn't a security or a security either. But the final draft and at the conference, the Yahoo conference in, 2000, in May of 2018, it never came out. In fact, Brad Garlinghouse was at that conference. He thought he'd, he would hear that out of Bill Hemmings mouth, but he never did. And that was kind of shocking. And then of course, on the way out, William Hemmings voted that, uh, William Hemmings and Jay Clayton, SEC director voted that, you know, Ripple was a security and let's go ahead and sue them. And then he handed that lawsuit over to Gary Gensler. So with that all, with all that introduction, let's go ahead and take a look at this particular video that was produced. Then I'm gonna go over the latest news about this case and about William Hemmings who has vehemently denied that he had any wrongdoing, but it just came out that he might have, and those rumors are turning more and more facts. You know, God, there's an XRP army is due diligence at its finest. Let's go take a look. When William Hinman was named Director of Corporation Finance at the SEC, he fought to keep getting millions of dollars in payments from his old law firm, Simpson Thatcher. But Hinman was warned by the ethics office it would be a crime to do anything that would affect Simpson Thatcher. No meetings, no phone calls, or he'd be breaking criminal law. But Hinman ignored the legal warnings. He met with Simpson Thatcher again and again. He met repeatedly with head of its DC office before and after he delivered a market moving speech declaring the digital assets Bitcoin and Ether as not securities. When Simpson Thatcher joined the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, a group with the sole mission to promote Ethereum, then Hinman connected with Chris Lin, a partner in the Simpson Thatcher's China office, who had IPO business before Hinman's division for a Chinese client that makes and sells Bitcoin and Ether mining equipment. Lin asked to meet with Hinman to, quote, report what is going on in China. Hinman said yes. Did Hinman commit a crime? It's time for an investigation. Only Congress has oversight on the SEC. Demand your lawmakers support it. Well, that's just the first step. So we see, see what's happening here. We see that Bill Hemman, when he was brought into the SEC, he had to have retired or quit Simpson, uh, Simpson Thatcher and then become a, 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 
know, legislator, I should say legislator, regulator that would only look at things through the regulate, regulation eyes and the laws of the, of the United States. Instead, as we're seeing here, it looks like he had a lot of going on in the background with his former job, right? He, if you retired, then you're done, you're over with. We understand that at retirement, anytime we retire, we get a pension. And yes, he did get a pension all, all three years he was at the SEC. We understand that. But if he's retired, he doesn't see what currently is happening with his, he doesn't profit from what's happening at that moment. As we, see, we saw there that Thimson Satcher was with the Ethereum uh, Foundation and that they were representing them. So he absolutely knew that going into being com becoming a, 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 a regulator at the SEC. So let's go down here. So this was, I saw this last night. It's John Deaton retweeted this. And in this particular, uh, 16 hours ago, in this particular tweet that he had, guess what he pulled up? You got it, two bank statements from Henman, and it came out. And so if we take a look at one of them right here, and right above here, we see that it says Simpson Thatcher partnership, partnership income. He shouldn't be receiving income. He, he literally retired. So with that being said, Mr. Henman got $7,800 right here. So you're telling me seven thousand? Excuse me, seven million eight hundred seventy-six. He received almost eight million dollars in this month alone in money that he received from Simpson Thatcher, a salary, if you want to call it, or partnership. You know, part of the partnership money that he sh should not be receiving. Then, if we go one step further, if we back this up here for a second, and we look at another bank statement. He then received 1.849 million again over here. So he received $10 million. It doesn't matter, it just they don't know it. Yeah. Yeah. He received he received $10 million in two years from Simpson Thatcher. That's not counting what he's getting on his retirement fund or his pension. It's ridiculous. He said he never received any money and now it's come out. And this is getting literally worse and worse for, for him. And you know, and we know, and everyone knows that there's gonna be a lawsuit with him and, you know, again, you know, the ripple. I would assume XRP holders are gonna sue Bill Hemman because he caused damages by this speech he had in 2018 by not mentioning ripple. And, and only mentioning Ethereum and Bitcoin, he hurt the, the price of XRP. And then when he voted it to become a security and being, being sued by the SEC, he hurt, uh, hurt it again. Yet all the time he was being paid by a law firm that he had been for many, many years and he went back to after he, reti after he retired from the SEC, that was, as, as we saw in the video, was representing the Ethereum network as well as was representing other interests in china for bitcoin and ethereum mining companies so it only benefited him for saying those two things where would have benefited him by saying xrp was it was not a security he didn't see a benefit he wasn't getting paid and thank god we keep seeing this being extracted out of the sec that these things are happening i mean the I mean, it's just becoming such a cluster. And I'm so happy that Congress now is starting to see this. Innovation is being stifled by the SEC, and a lot of it has been stifled just because of this one speech at a Yahoo conference in 2018 has caused such a stir that Gary Gensler has taken this to a whole nother level because any other cryptocurrency not mentioned in that speech in 2018 He's game on lawsuit. He's Mr. Lawsuit. Let me stifle innovation because I want to be the big man on the block. And so with that, we're seeing everything kind of unfold here about that speech and, and everything surrounding this Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. It's just getting bad. And again, I think the, the XRP army out there, XRP community, 
They are out there 110% looking for facts, looking for videos, looking for any pieces of information. Now there's also the Information Act uh, that has come, that has now, it's a association that sued the SEC uh, for all the emails or as much, as much emails that they're given by the SEC because this was the uh, Freedom of Information Act. That's what it's called. And they were not allowing any internal emails to be released to you know outside entities, which they were required to do. And now over the course of the last six to nine months, they have had to enforce to be releasing these. And now we're putting the puzzle piece together. That looks like Bill Hemmings might be a lot more dirtier than he actually said so. We haven't seen yet the depositions that Ripple took with Bill Hemmings. But now if they're going to be contradicting a lot of things that are being said or being uh, explored here in Twitter, we're going to see a huge lawsuit maybe against Bill Hammond, Jay Clayton, that's the last regime, and the SEC for causing damage to you know, coin holders because of their own personal interests while supposedly being at the SEC. Next article. Crypto.com pulls plug for half a billion dollars, a Champions League sponsorship deal. Now, I reported this about three months ago that they they may had a sponsorship with uh, Champions League. Well, it looks like they jumped the gun. Now, initially a Russian company had it, a Russian energy company had it. And of course, when Russia invaded Ukraine, they, uh, you know, the Champions League kind of just evicted that particular sponsor looking for another one. Well, crypto.com just stepped in right away. But guess what crypto.com didn't think about? Well, a couple things, crypto winner, but more importantly, any kind of regulations through the European countries. So if we go down here, we got to move it up a little bit. I'll read this. Crypto.com scraped the deal, scrapped the deal because of regulation concerns in the UK, France, and Italy with legal issues surrounding the scope of licenses and trade operations, sports business said. So now they've already scrapped the whole thing. I think that that crypto.com is kind of happy that it happened because they have their quarterly you know, earnings, uh, year, year over year earnings have down dramatically and they just don't have all this excess cash or it's half a billion dollars just for a sponsorship. Didn't, it seems like it worked out for them kind of didn't work out for the, the UEFA champions. Next article, one that it just, it, this is the one that, I, you know, besides the whole Ripple versus SEC case, something that really is a big problem here. This crypto lender Celsius says $70 million cash relief will bolster efforts to survive this year. This is just, it continues to pound on, on the, the investors. Let the investors continue to pay for a, a completely inept team over at Celsius that took their money and, and invested in worthless investments. Didn't see crypto winner coming, didn't see anything, but have no remorse upon the investors. They continue to wanna to spend investor money, money that as going through bankruptcy, as we talk about, can be distributed to investors. No, we wanna keep our business up because we wanna see our model succeed somewhere in the future well guys the reputation is shot i mean newsflash it's gone now we did see a bump in celsius token price because some people did get their money back uh you know it was really isolated so now there's some hopium sitting out there so we saw that today celsius coin the cell coin jumped up 33 percent guys don't be fooled this man right here alex machinsky is a scammer he has he, he's just another long line of guys that thought they could make the quick buck have the money and then turn around and party like a rock star while their investors coins burn hell look at him he is public enemy he is investor enemy uh, excuse me two do quan's number one all right, so now we're here for the NFTs. We're at the light side. And I want to bring producer Emmy on. I should call her producer Emmy more. Partner Emmy. What do you want to be called, Emmy? I don't know. There's 
You, know, you like that, don't you? Yeah, it, it takes like a little responsibility yeah. off you. It's yeah, you can produce, you can you can you know narrate. I can chat and move the mic all at the same time. She can do quite a lot of different things, but but more importantly, she's the hipster of today. She's the millennial. Yes, I, I yeah, I get it. I yeah. Don't ask me what that thing on the top of her head is. It's moved a couple times. It scared me. But I won't, I, I've not said anything to her. I just think that, you know, it's a chia pet or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So today, well, so yesterday we talked about Bill Murray and how awesome it was on an auction. He did a one-on-one auction, which you were going to receive an NFT. You're going to have beer with Bill. By the way, he was putting on his own beer. Oh, I didn't know yes, that. He was, okay. he was having his own beer label. That's cool. Beer with Bill Murray. And then while you did meet, because you were going to have a physical meeting, you were going to have an artist show up, make another rendition of that moment, turn it into an NFT, and you were going to receive it as well. Mm -hmm. So we, as yesterday, we reported it, it went up to $185,000 or what? Plus something crazy. Something crazy. It was a lot of money. It, it went through, and today, what's the latest? Uh, let me show you. So, unfortunately, Bill Murray's wallet was hacked and all the money. What she was excited to tell. <laughs> Come on, Bill. Who'd you hire? Yeah. I mean, literally, password. B Murray one. <laughs> B Murray one. Boom. Maybe I got 185,000 bucks. Password. SNL. SNL Murray. Password. Password's back. Oh my God. <laughs> or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, I got to put an exclamation point because they made me. I'm really sad to hear this, but like. Uh, as far as like, well, this isn't crazy. This is sad. It, it is sad. All right. Yeah. Well, let's go to the next one. I think it's a lot more here. What? Oh, you're gonna look at me. Hi. <laughs> um. Okay. So Doja Cat partners with J Audio. Uh, okay. I actually saw she yesterday. I think it's really interesting that uh, she partnered with JB. Very big. Audio. Yeah. Um, that's in. Uh, let me. Enters the first. This is the first thing. Reverse. Pretty on brand for her because she. About being. Mm -hmm. That's kind of. Uh, God. Yeah, she's a. <laughs> um, I think this is really interesting. Um, you also get access to products, but it looks like there's but I think it's okay. So are you getting pictures of her or and is it? Um, I wanted to also but each of these drops include FT. So, she, so basically, it's JBL that actually is the collection, and Doja Cat is the one pushing it. Spokesperson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's like Got the celebrity it. endorser. Okay. Oh, and okay, so whoever gets the. Yes. Very cool. Um, it says uh. <laughs> Bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it says that you're a mean But I guess it's like free their headphones mm. and their Got it. Got it. So oh, hopefully this she won't be on the uh, the one of our top ten celebrity. Let's hopefully. Yeah. I there you go. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't. Um, that would be probably cool. But like we did in our uh, Saturday opinion piece. Yes, Mark Cuban being the worst. 
99% retracement. Yep. Man. So unfortunately, that's that's what the NFT space is when it's made up of mostly you know, animal picks and the community isn't there. The, the, and most of these communities are there, to be very frank yeah. with you. The problem is that a celebrity endorse, endorsement at the beginning, the celebrity jumps into their discords or just dumps in, is a part of the community. But and time goes by, their paid endorsement contract goes away, and if they don't continue to push it in that in, in that community and be part of it, then just like with anything, they just the entire community expands uh, in a in a very bloody, fire, you know, you know death defying explosion, you know, and we've seen this over and over. You know, just on just on some of the blue. Real quick before we end, I was. Matt Damon. Okay. Matt Damon was paying. Matt Damon paying a hundred million, and he, he was, was paid a hundred million right. for that. For and that he commercial. was he was number ten of the ten, so he was the worst. He was he was the least worst of the bottom ten. Yeah. Right, he like he like that the uh, crypto.com coin tanked I think forty five or fifty percent versus Mark Cuban's tanked ninety percent. Right, so you know it's just it's just bad. It's bad. It's just bad. So guys, I while well, I have producer Emmy here, guess what? Uh, I, I I'm handing the mic over. I'm sliding the mic for tomorrow on the opinion piece mm -hmm. and special that hurts. Okay, so tomorrow <laughs> we're going to be talking about Hermes. There are a big fashion. Okay. Yeah. Uh, super excited. <laughs> you got it. You got to see your guys. You know, you know, definitely tune in tomorrow. Hermes is going to be. Uh, it's going to be hip. I mean, getting into NFT, you're talking from from the worst bums in the world to the highest people are all showing adoption of NFT. And uh, this was a big story that, that's come out today and we want to make sure. Yes, so come back for that tomorrow. We are also on TikTok, Instagram, any place that's cool we hang out there. You can talk to us. Yes, mm -hmm. sounds good. Yeah. All right. Bye guys, thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.